nomenclature is a system of names or terms, or the rules for forming these terms in a particular field of arts or sciences. The principles of naming vary from the relatively informal conventions of everyday speech to the internationally agreed principles, rules and recommendations that govern the formation and use of the specialist terms used in scientific and other disciplines. Naming things is a part of our general communication using words and language, it is an aspect of everyday taxonomy as we distinguish the objects of our experience, together with their similarities and differences, which we identify, name and classify. The use of names, as the many different kinds of nouns embedded in different languages, connects nomenclature to theoretical linguistics, while the way we mentally structure the world in relation to word meanings and experience relates to the philosophy of language. Onomastics is the study of proper names and their origins, includes anthroponymy, concerned with human names, including personal names, surnames and nicknames. Toponymy the study of place names and etymology, the derivation, history and use of names as revealed through comparative and descriptive linguistics. The scientific need for simple, stable and internationally accepted systems for naming objects of the natural world has generated many formal nomenclatural systems. Probably the best known of these nomenclatural systems are the five codes of biological nomenclature that govern the Latinized scientific names of organisms. Etymology, the word nomenclature is derived from the Latin nomen, name, calere, to call. The ancient Greek I one half I one quarter I plus or minus I I I I, I registered trademark I I per mil I from I O I one half I one quarter I plus or minus or onoma meaning name and equivalent to the Old English nama and Old High German namo which is derived from Sanskrit nama. The Latin term nomenclatura refers to a list of names as does the word nomenclator which can also indicate a provider or announcer of names. Onomastics and nomenclature. The study of proper names is known as onomastics, which has a wide-ranging scope encompassing all names, all languages, all geographical and cultural regions. The distinction between onomastics and nomenclature is not readily clear, onomastics is an unfamiliar discipline to most people and the use of nomenclature in an academic sense is also not commonly known. Although the two fields integrate, Nomenclature concerns itself more with the rules and conventions that are used for the formation of names. Naming as a cultural activity. Names provide us with a way of structuring and mapping the world in our minds so, in some way, they mirror or represent the objects of our experience. Names, words, language and meaning. Elucidating the connections between language meaning and the way we perceive the world has provided a rich field of study for philosophers and linguists. Relevant areas of study include, the distinction between proper names and proper nouns, and the relationship between names, their reference, meanings, and the structure of language. Folk taxonomy. Modern scientific taxonomy has been described as basically a renaissance codification of folk taxonomic principles. Formal scientific nomenclatural and classification systems are exemplified by biological classification. All classification systems are established for a purpose. The scientific classification system anchors each organism within the nested hierarchy of internationally accepted classification categories. Maintenance of this system involves formal rules of nomenclature and periodic international meetings of review. This modern system evolved from the folk taxonomy of prehistory. Folk taxonomy can be illustrated through the Western tradition of horticulture and gardening. Unlike scientific taxonomy, folk taxonomies serve many purposes. Examples in horticulture would be the grouping of plants, a naming of these groups, according to their properties and uses, annuals, biennials and perennials. Vegetables, fruits, culinary herbs and spices. Herbs, trees and shrubs. Wild and cultivated plants, and weeds and so on. Folk taxonomy is generally associated with the way rural or indigenous peoples use language to make sense of and organize the objects around them. Ethnobiology frames this interpretation through either utilitarianists like Bronislaw Malinowski who maintain that names and classifications reflect mainly material concerns and intellectualists like Claude La Copyright by Strauss who hold that they spring from innate mental processes. 
the literature of ethnobiological classifications was reviewed in 2006. Folk classification is defined by the way in which members of a language community name and categorize plants and animals whereas ethnotaxonomy refers to the hierarchical structure, organic content, and cultural function of biological classification that ethnobiologists find in every society around the world. Ethnographic studies of the naming and classification of animals and plants in non-Western societies have revealed some general principles that indicate pre-scientific Mani Euro unregistered trademark s conceptual and linguistic method of organizing the biological world in a hierarchical way. Such studies indicate that the urge to classify is a basic human instinct. In all languages natural groups of organisms are distinguished. These groups are arranged into more inclusive groups or ethnobiological categories. In all languages, there are about five or six ethnobiological categories of graded inclusiveness. These groups are arranged hierarchically, generally into mutually exclusive ranks. The ranks at which particular organisms are named and classified is often similar in different cultures. The levels are a euro moving from the most to least inclusive. Level 1 Unique Beginner, for example, plant or animal. A single all-inclusive name rarely used in folk taxonomies but loosely equivalent to an original living thing, a common ancestor, level 2, a euro overlife form a euro for example tree, bird, grass and fish these are usually primary lexemes loosely equivalent to a phylum or major biological division. Level 3 generic name for example oak, pine, robin, catfish this is the most numerous and basic building block of all folk taxonomies the most frequently referred to, the most important psychologically, and among the first learned by children. These names can usually be associated directly with a second level group. Like life form names these are primary lexemes. Level 4 specific name for example white fur, post oak more or less equivalent to species. A secondary lexeme and generally less frequent than generic names. Level 5 varietal name for example baby lima bean, Butter lima bean. In almost all cultures, objects are named using one or two words equivalent to kind and particular kind. When made up of two words, the name usually consists of a noun and an adjectival second word that helps describe the first, and therefore makes the name, as a whole, more specific. For example, lapdog, sea salt, or film star. The meaning of the noun used for a common name may have been lost or forgotten but when the common name is extended to two or more words much more is conveyed about the organism's use, appearance or other special properties. These noun adjective binomials are just like our own names with a family or surname like Simpson and another adjectival Christian or forename name that specifies which Simpson, say Homer Simpson. It seems reasonable to assume that the form of scientific names we call binomial nomenclature is derived from this simple and practical way of constructing common names, but with the use of Latin as a universal language. In keeping with the utilitarianist view other authors maintain that ethnotaxonomies resemble more a complex web of resemblances than a neat hierarchy. Names and Nouns A name is a label for any noun. Names can identify a class or category of things, or a single thing either uniquely, or within a given context. Names are given, for example, to humans or any other organisms, places, products, as in brand names, and even to ideas or concepts. It is names as nouns that are the building blocks of nomenclature. The word name is possibly derived from the Proto-Indo-European language hypothesized word nom. The distinction between names and nouns, if made at all, is extremely subtle although clearly a Euroene and a Euro refers to names as lexical categories and their function within the context of language, rather that as a Euroe labels a Euro for objects and properties. Personal names Human personal names are presented, used and categorized in many ways depending on the language and culture. In most cultures it is customary for individuals to be given at least two names. In Western culture, the first name is given at birth or shortly thereafter and is referred to as the given name, the forename, the baptismal name, or simply the first name. In England prior to the Norman invasion of 1066, small communities of Celts, Anglo-Saxons and Scandinavians generally used single names, each person was identified by a single name as either a personal name or nickname. 
As the population increased, it gradually became necessary to identify people further a euro giving rise to names like John the Butcher, Henry from Sutton, and Roger son of Richard a euro which naturally evolved into John Butcher, Henry Sutton, and Roger Richardson. We now know this additional name variously as the second name, last name, family name, surnames or occasionally the by name, and this natural tendency was accelerated by the Norman tradition of using surnames that were fixed and hereditary within individual families. In combination these two names are now known as the personal name or, simply, the name. There are many exceptions to this general rule, Westerners often insert a third or more names between the given and surnames. Chinese and Hungarian names have the family name preceding the given name. Females now often retain their maiden names or combine, using a hyphen, their maiden name and the surname of their husband. Some East Slavic nations insert the patronym between the given and the family name. In Iceland the given name is used with a patronym, or matronym, and surnames are rarely used. Nicknames are informal names used mostly between friends. Common names and proper names. The distinction between proper names and common names is that proper names denote a unique entity, for example, London Bridge, while common names are used in a more general sense in reference to a class of objects, for example, bridge. Many proper names are obscure in meaning as they lack any apparent meaning in the way that ordinary words mean, probably for the practical reason that when they consist of collective nouns, they refer to groups even when they are inflected for the singular for example committee. Concrete nouns like a euro or a cabbage a euro refer to physical bodies that can be observed by at least one of the senses while abstract nouns, like a euro or we love a euro and a euro or a hut a euro refer to abstract objects. In English, many abstract nouns are formed by adding noun-forming suffixes to adjectives or verbs for example happiness, serenity, a euro or we concentration a euro. Pronouns like he, it, which, and those stand in place of nouns in noun phrases. The capitalization of nouns varies with language and even the particular context. Journals often have their own house styles for common names. Onum nouns. Distinctions may be made between particular kinds of names simply by using the suffix onym, from the Greek a one half i one half i one quarter i plus or minus name. So we have, for example, Hydronyms name bodies of water, synonyms are names with the same meaning, and so on. The entire field could be described as trematonymy, the names of things. Toponyms Toponyms are the names given to places or features of a particular district, region, etc. This could include planets, countries, cities, towns, villages, buildings, etc. It can be further divided into specialist branches, hodonymy the names of streets, roads, and the like. Hydronomy, the names of water bodies. And aronomy, the names of mountains. Toponymy has popular appeal because of his socio-cultural and historical interest and significance for cartography. However, work on the etymology of toponyms has found that many place names are descriptive, honorific or commemorative but frequently they have no meaning or the meaning is obscure or lost. Also the many categories of names are frequently interrelated. For example, many place names are derived from personal names, many names of planets and stars are derived from the names of mythological characters, and many personal names are derived from place names, names of nations and the like. Scientific nomenclature, nomenclature, classification and identification. In biological science, at least, Nomenclature is regarded as a part of taxonomy. Taxonomy can be defined as the study of classification including its principles, procedures and rules, while classification itself is the ordering of taxa into groups based on similarities or differences. Doing taxonomy entails identifying, describing and naming taxa, so nomenclature, in this strict scientific sense, is the branch of taxonomy concerned with the application of scientific names to taxa, based on a particular classification scheme and in accordance with agreed international rules and conventions. Identification determines whether a particular organism matches a taxon that has already been classified and named a euro so classification must precede identification. This procedure is sometimes referred to as a euro-e determination. 
the precision demanded by science in the accurate naming of objects in the natural world has resulted in a variety of international nomenclatural codes. Biology Although Linnao's a Euro unregistered trademark system of binomial nomenclature was rapidly adopted after the publication of his species Plentrum and Systema Naturae in 1753 and 1758 respectively, it was a long time before there was international consensus concerning the more general rules governing biological nomenclature. The first botanical code was produced in 1905, the Zoological Code in 1889 and Cultivated Plant Code in 1953. Agreement on the nomenclature and symbols for genes emerged in 1979. International Code of Botanical Nomenclature, see also Botanical Nomenclature, International Code of Nomenclature of Bacteria, International Code of Nomenclature for Cultivated Plants, International Code of Zoological Nomenclature, Virus Nomenclature, Used in virus classification, enzyme nomenclature, phylo code, a new convention currently under development. International Standard on Human Anatomic Terminology, Terminologia Anatomica, Gene Nomenclature, Red Cell Nomenclature, Medical Devices Use the Naming Convention of the Global Medical Device Nomenclature. Astronomy Over the last few hundred years, the number of identified astronomical objects has risen from hundreds to over a billion, and more are discovered every year. Astronomers need universal systematic designations to unambiguously identify all of these objects using astronomical naming conventions, while assigning names to the most interesting objects and, where relevant, naming important or interesting features of those objects. Planetary nomenclature, meteorite nomenclature, International Astronomical Union Chemistry The IUPAC nomenclature is a system of naming chemical compounds and for describing the science of chemistry in general. It is maintained by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. The rules for naming organic and inorganic compounds are printed in two publications, the Blue Book and the Red Book available here. A third publication, Green Book, contains recommendations for the use of symbols for physical quantities, while a fourth, the Gold Book, defines a large number of technical terms used in chemistry. Similar compendia exist for biochemistry, analytical chemistry and macromolecular chemistry. These books are supplemented by shorter recommendations for specific circumstances which are published from time to time in the journal Pure and Applied Chemistry. These systems can be accessed here. International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry Metallurgy, the classic English translation of De Re Metallica includes an appendix detailing problems of nomenclature in weights and measures. Physics Symbols, Units and Nomenclature in Physics Archaeology See also, International Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, British Approved Name, Controlled Vocabulary, Metadata, Naming Convention, Retroactive nomenclature, terminology, references. External links International Council of Onomastic Sciences retrieved September 23, 2009. American Name Society promote onomastics, the study of names and naming practices, both in the United States and abroad. Retrieved January 11, 2010. NamingSchemes.com A wiki dedicated to the education and sharing of naming schemes. Retrieved January 11, 2010. Ontology Naming Conventions The application of unified labeling or naming conventions in ontology engineering will help to harmonize the appearance and increase the robustness of ontological representational units such as class and relation names. A full free access paper with the naming conventions is accessible online under HTTP www.biomedcentral.com 10 125 retrieved January 11, 2010. Further reading, Sheets, George H. Names Names, a descriptive and prescriptive on Imikon. Sioux City, Iowa, Shawan Quarter TZ Verlag.